Welcome back on this Thirsty Thursday. You know, we're looking ahead to National Wine and Cheese Day. I know we're looking forward to celebrating. Yeah, yes. It happens to be on Saturday this year, and a winery in Dundee might be exactly where you need to go to celebrate. They even have a new tasting room to check out. Joining us live this morning is Paige Knudsen Coles, managing partner with Knudsen Vineyards. Good morning, Paige. Good morning, Jenny and Emily. How are you? Oh, we're great. And we love to talk Even about wine now, and cheese. Yeah. I mean, this is like an everyday <laughs> occurrence for us. So what are you guys offering when it comes to celebrating wine and cheese out at Knudsen? Well, thank you very much for having me on. I appreciate it. We are open seven days a week from 730. That's not correct. From 1030 to 430. And we welcome families. We welcome everyone who wants to come. Uh, we offer, particularly for National Wine and Cheese Day, two different servings of cheese and charcuterie boards. A tip for those, for those viewers who are interested in how to pair wine with cheese, think about pairing locally from the same area, wine and cheese. And to that note, we are partnering with Briar Rose Creamery here in Dundee, very close to us. They have wonderful seasonality in their offerings. They make all their cheeses right on site and they're excellent pairings for our Pinot Noir and Chardonnay wines. Ooh, that sounds great. Yes. I never thought about trying to do like a local pairing yeah. as well. That's, I never have either. That's such a fun mm -hmm. idea. So definitely gonna be something to check out. And if people do wanna come out this weekend, they can check out your new tasting room. Tell us all about it. Well, we have been in the Dundee Hills for almost 50 years. We'll be celebrating our 50 year anniversary next year. And we, on the other hand, have just been a vineyard. We haven't had a public tasting room until this year. So it's very exciting for us to share this beautiful property with everyone who cares to visit. And having a tasting room allows us to have people here to enjoy the wine and the setting. Uh, we are definitely following COVID rules and regulations in terms of masks on when mobile, uh, but you definitely can have your mask off when you're at your table with your party. And uh, we welcome families with their kids. We have lots of space to be uh, running around if they want to. Supervision is a good idea. Um, and we just hope that people feel comfortable coming up and giving us a visit. Yeah. We also welcome uh, same day reservations. Reservations are preferred mm -hmm. so that we can be um, prepared when people come. But definitely just call on the day that you want to come and we can see if we can accommodate. I, I feel like uh, tasting rooms are just such a great way for people to, uh, you know, experience the wines but also discover wines too. So yeah. it's great that you guys opened this. And then for those who, who love sipping outside, and a lot of people want to be outside right now mm -hmm. during the, this time that we're going through, you also offer a picnic experience. We do. We have a couple things going on. One, you can bring your own food, and we have two outdoor spaces that are quite spacious. We have a lower patio and an upper terrace, and lots of accommodation for uh, food that you bring yourself. But we also offer a picnic with a vine vineyard tour, which I lead a couple of times uh, a month. But if you have a group of six or more, we can customize a tour for you as well. And that includes an hour walk through the vineyard, which has a lot of education, but lots of fun and beautiful views. And then also a lunch afterwards on the terrace with the wine tasting paired. Oh, wow. You're going to be hearing from me about that one. That sounds so yeah, fun. <laughs> now, um, you have, I know you have to have your walking shoes on, though. No high heels. Oh, my oh, gosh. Okay. Absolutely. No, I, I like it. You walk around and then you don't feel guilty about enjoying your, your right. wine tasting and your picnic. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, now, exactly. I wanted to ask you, because I know you're part of the, the second generation of winemakers here. You you and three of your siblings, right? This is really a, a family business for you guys. So how are you all doing as, a, as you navigate this pandemic? Well, thank you very much for asking. <clears throat> it's me and my three brothers who own the business. It was our father, Cal Knudsen, who started it by buying the property in 1971. And we were the largest vineyard in Oregon by 1975 at just 60 acres. And then he and Dick Erath formed a winery partnership called Knudsen Erath Winery, which we operated <clears throat> excuse me, for about 11 years. After that, we became the founding vineyard for Argyle Winery. And in 2009, when we inherited the property from our father, we and mother, she was passed away way too soon. Uh, we decided to start getting into winemaking again under the Knutson Vineyards label. 
We've been doing that for five years, and now we have this whole property to ourselves uh, as the ERAT lease has expired, and we get to incorporate all of the elements that have been on the property for almost 50 years oh, into our property now. That is so, so yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you all enjoy National Wine and Cheese Day. Cheers, enjoy the weekend, and we hope to come visit soon. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. I hope you both do.